They call Homs the capital of the revolution. The revolt against President Bashar al-Assad has been going on for nearly a year. But on Friday the 3rd of February, his forces unleashed a ferocious bombardment of residential neighborhoods in Homs. A little girl and her brother, both badly wounded. <laughs> No one can bear to tell her that her father and youngest brother are dead. We're in Bayada district. It's 10 in the morning, and fighters from the Free Syrian Army are engaged in a gun battle that started at 3.30 a.m. As they wait, the Moisin is broadcasting a eulogy for a dead fighter, a martyr. A tense but momentary lull. Then it starts all over again. They're attacking the government security building across the road, headquarters of the hated Mukhabarat secret police. Manny, the filmmaker, finds himself at the heart of the firefight. <laughs> Urban guerrilla warfare like this is relentless and terrifying. The fighters appear fearless and take crazy risks. but they still find time to look out for Manny. <laughs> Chaldea district, right next to Bayada, two days earlier. Residents pour onto the streets to mourn 138 people killed overnight by government shelling. <laughs> there aren't enough coffins for all those who've been killed, so men are simply wrapped in white shrouds. The atmosphere is highly charged. An imam leads prayers for the dead. Back at Mukhabarat headquarters, the battle is raging. Free Syrian forces have detonated a bomb below the rooftop position where government snipers are trapped. After more than 12 hours, the snipers are still putting up a fight. Casualties are mounting. A minibus ambulance, and then a breakneck race to a makeshift field hospital. 
There's little dignity in all this. Friday is protest day. It's almost a carnival atmosphere. But it's a carnival of defiance, as the people of Homs tell their president what they think of him. <laughs> Mothers, children, fathers, and fighters, this mass of humanity dances for its huria, its freedom. <laughs> an unstoppable energy battling a seemingly immovable force. Three Syrian fighters have entered the government security building. It's room to room fighting now, stairwell to stairwell. It's a humiliation for President Assad. With bullets still flying, fighters make off with boxes of much needed ammo. The morning after. The Mukhabarat secret police building's been gutted, as has the local post office. Down the street, there's a long queue for bread. With parts of the city besieged, you can no longer get to shops in neighboring districts. <laughs> A couple of blocks away, and you're in Sabil district, where many belong to the president's Alawite sect. They have not been attacked. Homs, now a patchwork, dividing along sectarian lines. This doorway is as far as Sunni Muslims can go. For them, one step into the street, and they're in Sniper Alley. <laughs> this woman has just learned that her son, Fadi, has been shot dead by a sniper there. <laughs> Fadi used to support the regime. The tattoo on his chest says, Assad, Syria. But it was a bullet from one of Al-Assad's snipers that killed him. There you are. Mina is there. I'm a slah. I'm a slah? I'm a slah. 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 I'
كبيوه سوي وحباب تيب قتلوا قتلوا اللي ما بخافوا والله القناصة ظلما وعدوان هو ماشي بالشارع راح يجيب اخته من الشارع تلاقوه شو بدي احكي لها؟ 